Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this past week in EDM. As always, there is a Spotify link for all the songs I talked about below and all the past installments of This Week in EDM you can find in the link in the description below. As, uh, yeah, and let's get it going. Uh, first off, nothing in the trash category this week. No songs that were uh, too bad, but there's quite a few in the bad. It was a pretty slow week I found, so only 17 songs I wanted to really talk about. But uh, we're starting off with The Gilded Cage by Wales, <laughs> another short Wales track that I personally can't really get behind. Uh, the drops feel incomplete, and honestly, the best parts were the pre-drop lead-ins. And uh, yeah, I just wasn't wasn't a fan. Very short. Don't like short Wales, but uh, I, I sometimes do really like Wales. Up next, we've got Techtronic by Nikki Romero. It's like a big room tech house kind of fusion track. Uh, supposedly the first of an upcoming EP of the same title name. Uh, and I'm just so unimpressed with this. It's the same sound we've heard for years and years, and it's it's really nothing special. Up next, we've got Necromancer by Gengar and Ghastly. Uh, here's your Halloween dubstep EP. Um, if, for those of you that know it, this is not really my style. So if you love the kind of rhythm, this isn't quite rhythm, but style of dubstep, uh, you might really appreciate this one. It's your kind of basic one, two, like, tung, 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 like, tung, tung, dubstep that I just, I personally don't really like. It would just those in the metallic sense, I just, yeah, not for me, but. Uh, that is an EP as well, though, of the same name, Necromancer, so if you want to check out that EP. Uh, next up, we got Take It All by Panda Eyes. Uh, Panda Eyes DNB, drum and bass. Uh, reminds me a lot of the Bishu track with uh, just vocals, just Bishu in general. And uh, I'm not personally a fan of Bishu vocals, so I'm not really a fan of these kind of vocals. Um, it just like this purposeful auto-tune style isn't really for me. I don't really get it. It sounds a little cheesy personally, but um, maybe you'll like it. Uh, but that mixed with a kind of below average DNB beat, I just, I just, I think it's a bad song. But I've actually got Metaphysical by Shipwreck featuring Bipolar Sunshine. Uh, pretty boring, I found. It's a deep house cut. Uh, and uh, Bipolar Sunshine really is not able to uh, shine at all. Bipolar Sunshine just came out with a new LP, I think, two or three weeks ago. And uh, I liked it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, there's really nothing in here for, for Bipolar Sunshine. So uh, we're moving into the meh category. Songs I think are just... Just meh. Uh, we've got Mirror by Sabai featuring Danny Cara. Um, it's your kind of basic mellow dub. Uh, vocals are okay. Um, this is just like the most kind of vanilla song you can possibly think of. And uh, that's, yeah, that's this. Next up, we've got Giving It All by Nervo. Very similar. It's kind of a basic commercial house beat this time. And uh, there's really not much more I can say about it. Um, I don't know if that's like a bad thing, but like it's, it's your kind of, your basic Nervo, your commercial house Nervo, there. If you love that, here you go. Uh, and then out of nowhere, the Runaway slash you and I uh, Subtronics remix, originally by Galantis. Uh, this, wow, this remix really came out of nowhere. The song is, I don't know, almost 10 years old now, I think, maybe even more than that, uh, with a, <laughs> a newer Subtronics twist to it. Um, it is quite silly. Uh, the production-wise, it's not too bad, but I don't think it's a good remix. I think this is a probably a better standalone track. As a remix, I just don't think it worked like at all. Um, I think as an original, it might have been better, but it's just, everyone knows the original so much and it's been remixed a million times, but it's just meh. Uh, next, we've got Underneath by Gammer featuring Liney, I want to say Liney. Uh, it's the Better Together LP, which is pretty much a collaboration LP where he works with other featured artists all through this kind of LP. Uh, but it's a Big Room House track uh, that didn't really have anything particular going on with it that uh, I wasn't really like, yeah, this is great. I just was like, yeah, this is, again, kind of basic. That's why it's just meh. Uh, it's been, it was a weird week for me. Weird week. Uh, and then we've got Ground Shake by Crank Debt and Bandles. Uh, Disciple track here with some more mechanized, destructive dubstep. And uh, this one's definitely not as bad as some of the other stuff I've heard and uh, pretty okay for, I'd say, Disciple. Uh, not really been my style as for the most part, but uh, this was just a little bit too much noise, not as much purpose. Uh, but uh, in the end, I, I could see myself enjoying this for sure. We move on to the good category songs that I think are, are pretty solid. Uh, we've got The Dead March by Sullivan King and Ray Volpe. Uh, I talked about it before here a lot, so this metallic dubstep that I don't really enjoy. I, uh, I actually I like this one quite a bit. I, for some reason, love Sullivan King's Monster Cat stuff and do not like Sullivan King's non-Monster Cat, but I think it worked really well, the two of them. Uh, first one from Ray Volpe on Monster Cat as well. Uh, but yeah, second drop I think was the best part, the Ray Volpe kind of style drop. It was, it was fantastic. 
Then we got Earth Magic by Inzo and Elohim. Uh, beautiful atmospheric track with a chill beat. This is like your perfect studying music, like your lo-fi lo girl kind of uh, study song uh, with a, or also to like kind of sit and enjoy in nature, uh, I think so. Very, very fun track. And on a very, very similar vein, uh, we've got Golden Sunshine by Mord Fustang. A very bright and comforting track, very similar to Earth Magic. Um, very uplifting. Both of them are also instrumental tracks, and uh, they, they just put you in a good mood. These songs put you in a good mood. Then we got Rad by Tokyo Machine. Tokyo was back with his electro house style. Um, it's been a little bit more poppy as of late, and I really do, do like the electro house kind of pure Tokyo sounds um, with those rising synths all throughout before the drops. It just reminds me of classic Tokyo, with especially with the halftime kind of middle way drop, and um, it's just pure good Tokyo. So. And then we've got Another Way by AU5 and Ami. Uh, hey, it's uh, it's AU5 Mellow Dub. It's, it's good. It's, uh, you know it's always going to be great. Um, this man doesn't miss at all with his dubstep. Um, really keeping the genre alive, honestly, for sure. Uh, the track is a little bit more punchier without the kind of more storytelling, like longer tracks that AU5 can and has done in the past, uh, but still a great song nonetheless. And our final two tracks of the week are standout tracks. Whoa, two standout this week. Songs that I really, really, really enjoyed. Uh, we've got Be Mine by Drinks On Me featuring Katie Bosworth. Um, potentially my favorite Drinks On Me track of all time. Uh, normally, uh, this one is a little bit more poppy with vocals and kind of the beat. Um, when you go a little bit more poppy, a little more commercial, I don't really tend to like it as much. Um, but I don't know. Whoa, Drinks On Me going a little more commercial uh, worked really well. It's something I could hear on the radio and really feel like I could really enjoy. And uh, it was a great fusion of kind of his weird kind of out there kind of funky wonky sounds while still being uh, pleasing for everyone to listen to. So I, I think this is a great track. So, and our best track of the week, you know what it is, potentially, maybe you don't. Uh, it's Out of the Dark by No Mana. It's your solid classic Electro House that uh, sounds very much like Dead Mouse. Um, personally, uh, I didn't love it on first listen. I thought it was just a good track. Um, but the more and more I listen to it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is great. Like this, it, it brings you back to like old school, uh, like I want to say early 2010s, uh, electro for me personally, uh, cause I listened to, that's when I started, um, listening to more EDM and I was like, man, this is solid. And the more and more I listened to it, I was like, oh, this production's great. Um, there's not a ton going on, but what it does, it does fantastically. So, uh, that has been this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of these tracks, any and all in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out that Spotify link for any songs for easy access. If you use Spotify, but other than that, I've been Botan Media and I'll see you guys in another video.